My husband loves Almond Joy candy bars, the chocolate, the almonds, and the coconut. And so for Valentine's Day, I like to make him some homemade Almond Joy bars. Lots of coconut, almonds, chocolate, and also a lot of sweetened condensed milk and powdered sugar. They're loaded with sugar and loaded with calories. So I finally came up with a more healthful version that still fulfills his craving for Almond Joy bars. So he's going to be so surprised when he gets these for Valentine's Day. I've got my ingredients ready to go. I took two cups of almonds, just raw almonds, and I toasted them on a baking sheet in a 350 degree oven for about six to eight minutes, just until you can smell the fragrance and they're starting to turn color. Take them out, put them on a plate to cool. Then, also ahead of time, I took half cup of shredded coconut, and this happens to be unsweetened coconut, put it in a skillet and stirred it over medium heat until it just started to turn golden brown, and then I put it on the plate to cool. Now. These little almond joy bites, or bites of joy I like to call them, have a natural sweetener. No sugar, but dates. And I like to use the medjool dates, which are the larger dates, because they're really moist and creamy and caramely. They have pits. Must take the pits out before you prepare these. So you can see that a deglet date is the more traditional date and it's a lot smaller and it doesn't have all that creamy inside that the Majul dates have. And you can find them in the produce department in most grocery stores. So I've got two cups of the Majul dates and I'm going to start putting things into my food processor. So first in go the toasted almonds. Then I'm going to put my dates two cups of dates, and I also have half cup of coconut that I have not toasted. So that's going to go in at the same time, along with about a quarter cup of cocoa powder. And use a nice quality cocoa powder so you get a really good chocolatey flavor. And a half teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to put that in and start pulsing it until it gets nice and crumbly. When it just gets a real crumbly consistency, I'm going to add three tablespoons of almond butter. Also, I'll put in one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. And once again, I'm going to blend it up. I like to use a portion scooper, but if you don't have one, don't worry. Just pinch up a bunch and roll it into a ball. And then I'm going to take the toasted coconut, that half cup of toasted coconut that I prepared ahead of time, and I'm going to roll the balls right in the toasted coconut. And you'll need to press the coconut probably to the balls a little bit so that it sticks on. And there you have a perfect bite of joy. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.